So as far as I know, based on this tournament, there is a very good chance that the rematch will be there. Um, now with the big show in uh, Wembley Stadium, um, you know, that changes the dynamic because they really, I mean, yes, there's other matches you could put on, but I think, you know, if you're, the way I look at this thing, you know, you, I think the, the idea was Omega wins the first, and then, you know, I, I when I thought they were going to do two, I would go, okay, Omega wins the first in Japan, and then Osprey wins the one in the United States. That way you surprise people kind of in both ways because, you know, you expect Osprey to win in Japan, and he doesn't, and he still has to climb that mountain, and then... In the United States, everyone would expect Omega to win. So you put Osprey over, and he's instant superstar beating Kenny Omega in on a, on a U.S. pay-per-view, and then you can use him as special traction forever, you know, and, and coming off of that, and especially considering what one would suspect the match would be. Now, I would think that if I was going to put this thing together, I would have um, Omega win again at Forbidden Door and save the Osprey win for Wembley, because I can just imagine, you know, Will Ospreay, Kenny Omega at Wembley, with Will Ospreay finally getting the win over Kenny Omega. I mean, if there's a place to do it, that is the place to do it. So I don't know that they're going to do anything like that, but um, I just think that, that that's that's a story that writes itself. I think that that is just that's just an easy one. I think, although. I well, I think see. the other thing that you could do is is just save that match for Wembley, and then for the Forbidden Door show, you do like uh, you know Omega Will Ospreay and the Open versus the Elite, and do the six person there where they both get in the ring together and they do some stuff together, and they don't necessarily have to be involved in the finish unless you want them to. But I mean, that match would be incredible, and then save the singles match for the Wembley show. Yeah, but Omega's defending the U.S. title probably at Forbidden Door. Because you got well, he doesn't have over. to. I mean, you you could just say that he's going to defend the title, and then the announcement is, well, he's going to defend it in Wembley. Yeah, I mean, you could against, do that too. Uh, you yeah. could you you could do that too. I think uh, um, the singles match at Forbidden Door is more attractive than the six man, though. I mean, you could do the six man on TV. That'd be awesome. Do the six man on TV like uh, two weeks before Forbidden Door on one of those shows and tease that, you know, like they do in Japan. That'd be incredible. Um, well, sure, yeah, the singles match would be m way more valuable for Forbidden Door, but at the end of the day, you've got a 90,000-seat building that you want to sell tickets to, and well, work. to me, you can sell, you can sell you tickets make that to a special, you know, it's, it's, you have to be there to see this match. You, you can still do that match, because Osprey, having lost twice, going for a win in England, I mean, the second loss, in theory, helps that match, because it's the first time in England, and he's getting it on his home court and the other thing is is that um you know again you never know what could happen um you know because again you just it's a lot depends on the size of the crowd and the exposure and things like that but i do remember obviously the first show at wembley stadium and there's only been one show at wembley stadium in history and the main event was bret hart and davy boy smith and they ended the show with bret hart and davy boy smith and they had a legendary match and it made davy boy smith into you know someone who was really gigantic in England, and this is the opportunity to do the same thing with Will Ospreay. Save that win for that show. Knock knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair, who? No, Ric Flair, who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> knock knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey, who? We Bailey. Made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not my jokes work. <laughs> we barely. What does that mean? She's small. It's we, we barely made it home. Oh, we <laughs> made it. <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> what? See, these, these, what? These are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.